Hello, sports fans, and welcome to this week's Democrat Sports Spotlight. I'm Democrat sports writer Seth Stringer, and joining me today is Kevin Thomas, head coach of the 20 and 5 State Fair Community College Roadrunners. First off, how are you doing today, coach? Doing pretty good. Just getting ready for practice here in a, about half an hour or so. Get, get ready for West Plains. So, well, uh, first off, congratulations on on leading the team to its 20 uh, str second straight 20 win season. It's a big accomplishment, uh, but there's still a lot to be done in the season. You know, coming off two straight overtime wins, uh, you know, and you host number one ranked Missouri State West Plains uh, tomorrow night. Last time y'all faced each other, it was an 88-81 win for the Grizzlies. Um, you know, but at three and two in Region 16 play, that number two seed is up for up for grabs along with a bye. Uh, this is a huge game for y'all. Well, definitely. Um, you know, it's a home game, it's a region game, and you know we're still battling for that second, you know, third spot uh, in the region. And you know, it's a big game. You know, obviously the fact that they're number one in the country, you know, they've had a great year. This kind of puts a, you know, another another reason, another notch out there. It's a good reason for us to try to get a win here. You know, at home. Yeah, y'all definitely flex some muscles at the Freddie Davis Multipurpose Center uh, this year. And you know, y'all are ten and zero. Um, you have a great track record. Are the players aware of this? track record and uh you know i mean do you carry a little extra swagger at home yeah you know i told them you know even at the beginning of the year you know you got to you know, one of the main things you got to do is protect home court um and i think we've done a decent job of that so far and you know i'm hoping our guys are going to answer the, the challenge on wednesday night and you know hopefully keep it that way and move on to 13 and 0 at home or 11 and 0 so Speaking of the players, Torres Roundtree's coming on strong of late. You know, he's averaging more than 17 points a game uh, to lead a squad that has five players averaging in double figures. Uh, Torres had 19 points last time these two teams pl played. But, uh, you know, it looks like the supporting cast is going to have to step up too. Uh, you know, what are you looking for from your players? Uh, you know, our th the whole thing is defense. You know, I thought, you know, Sunday night we didn't come out with a lot of intensity on the defensive end and gave up, you know, about 42, 43 points to West uh, to Iowa Western. And, you know, at halftime they came back out and I thought we played a lot harder and, you know, we defended and rebounded and held them to about six points, you know, in the, within the first half, uh, first 10 minutes of the second half. Uh, we've got to be able to maintain that kind of defensive intensity for an entire game. And I think if we do that, we'll be fine. You know, we've got enough guys that can score the ball. Our whole thing is, uh, you know, are we going to be able to play defense long enough and be tough enough on a consistent basis. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of defense, Missouri State West Plains averages the most points in the in Region 16 play, and they got a great point guard in Lonnie Hayes. You know, he's putting up 18 points a game. Uh, seems like seems like a, a game changer. Uh, he is. He's a great player, and you know, we're gonna the first matchup. You know, he really hurt us, and you know, it was the main reason why we got beat down there at their place. So we're gonna have to do a better job of containing him. Uh, you know, we've got some different things we're working on to try to get the ball out of his hands and try to keep him from keep him from having the ball on the offensive end as much as possible. So um, hopefully our guys will do a good job of containing him and limiting the amount of times he gets to the paint. And I think if we can do that, I think we have a chance to be really successful tomorrow night. You know, and, and we talked about this before the interview, but you, know, you can't remember the last time you faced a number one team or hosted a number one team in the country. Obviously, uh, hoping hoping the crowd comes out and it should be a great game. Uh, definitely, you know, it's, it's this big game, in my opinion. You know, we're trying to take this program to the next level where we're nationally known and recognized. And, you know, this is uh, another ch opportunity for our team to, uh, you know, kind of get some respect and kind of tell people that we're here and, you know, we're a force to be reckoned with on a national level. So uh, I know our guys are looking forward to this game. I know the coaching staff is as well. And, you know, we're hoping that everybody in today will come out and support the team because, uh, like I said, the men and women's team are both having a great year. And I think you'll see some good basketball definitely being played uh, tomorrow night. I appreciate your time, Coach, and thanks for joining us today.